Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to my kitchen, Hands That Cook. Now, a few days ago, I made um, sun-dried tomato dip. And I had some left over and one of my subs, Terry, said, you know, that, that, I see that on some chicken. That looks like it would be good on chicken. So, I said, you know, that's a good idea. So, I have the sun, the dip, the actual dip, and I didn't have enough, so I added uh, some plain yogurt and some capers. I'm not going to add any salt or pepper or anything at this time, but I've got it ready. I'm going to get my chicken. We're going to roll this chicken. My goodness. Alright, we're going to roll this chicken into the dip. These are thighs. You know I like dark meat. So, I'm going to do one and then I'm going to leave you while I finish. Got, got my chicken all gussied up. You can see how easy it is. It's not hard to do. And I'm putting it over in this other plate here that I have got um, seasoned breadcrumbs. And I added uh, just uh, a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese. I sprayed the bottom of a pan. Uh, it looks like it's about a 7 by 11 pan lightly and I preheat my oven to 375 degrees so when I get through with all my chicken I'll bring you back guys this is all the chicken I could fit in this um, container so I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees I'm going to okay. bake it about 45 minutes then you see me back. The chicken was, uh, it took, instead of 45 minutes, it took 55 minutes. And that is because my chicken was all, <laughs> it was very, very cold. Even though it had been taken out of the freezer early this morning. It just didn't thaw out. Sam wanted to let it thaw out outside, and I said, no, can't do that. And just, this is a heads up, a FYI, dark meat has to be done to 175 degrees. But if you're doing uh, breast meat or white, you um, that's 165. So that's just, so you all will know, because I always use a thermometer. I check my meat. That's how I knew that it wasn't done um, after, excuse me, 55 minutes, 45 minutes. It just wasn't done. So, I got Sam's meal here. And... It's my timer. Where is it? Thank you. So we got his plate right here. He's going to sit down, aren't you, Sam? Oh, yeah.
and we'll let him taste this um, sun-dried tomato. That's enough potato, I guess. Well, you don't have to eat it all. <coughs> oh, this is different. You want butter on it? No. No, that's fine. Look at that fine plate. Yeah, it looks good. I'm kind of hungry. All right, I'm going to pass it over. Let me get this chicken out of the way and get you turned around. There he is. There I am. We'll try the chicken. That's what we're cooking tonight. Well, it sure looks pretty. Well, thank you. I have some more chicken left over. I'm going to do it in the air fryer for a friend of mine who is afraid to use an air fryer, and there's really nothing dangerous about them. What you think, Sam? Best chicken I ever had. Oh, stop. Yeah, right off the bat. That is so juicy and so tender. Ah. Best chicken I've ever had. You like the flavors in there? Yeah, well, I've had a lot of chicken over the years. I'm 72 and I've been eating it since I was five. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, y'all, that's the summer. That is the best chicken. It is absolutely delicious. If y'all don't believe me, y'all try it. It's a sun dried tomato dip. And then I rolled it in um, seasoned Italian breadcrumbs with a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. Well. So if you all like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell that'll come up with it. And so you'll be notified every time. I that is so tender. <laughs> upload a new video. So you got anything else to say? Well, I'm about run out of jokes, but the other day, you know, I was looking out in the yard and I saw those trees. And I said, Linda, I don't trust those trees. And she said, well, why not? And I said, well, they look kind of shady to me. <laughs> That's corny. Y'all send me a few jokes. I they have to be short, though. Yeah, not really. They long. can't be long. All right, guys. Until next time, you all take care, and God bless every one of you. Bye-bye.